Hello, it's me again, and welcome back to another episode of this vloggy thing where I've decided to randomly go into my backyard to do this. <laughs> so this week's episode is going to be on the moon and all of her wonderful qualities. So let's get into it. Hi, my name's Samara. This is me. You're about to hear something really funny. Oh my God. This is how I die. <laughs> and this is my life. I found a little toad friend. We know how to have fun. So, welcome to it. It's blizzarding. I wonder if there's somewhere I can, like, place this so that I can, like, have my hands without dying. The moon, also known as Luna, which comes from a Latin term lunar, which means satellite. And that is because the moon is also known as a natural satellite. She has many other names, one poetic kind of rare one being Cynthia, and the other one being Selene from the Greek goddess of the moon. The moon has eight phases. The new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, Last quarter, waning crescent. Is that eight? I think it was. Waxing is getting bigger and waning is getting smaller. The moon completes its cycle from new moon to new moon every 29.5 days. There are over 200 moons in our solar system. Mercury and Venus have none, and Saturn has the most with 82. Does the moon have purpose? The moon actually plays a vital role in Earth's living conditions. It moderates the Earth's wobble on its axis, which creates a more stable climate. It also creates the tides, which help remove pollutants and circulates nutrients for the ocean life. The tides are extremely important because they help aid in the reproductive activities of the plant and animals. But what would happen if the moon just went away? It would create high wind, no tides, and the days would go by so fast. The seasons and the weather would also change too. Basically, our living arrangements here wouldn't be the same. And apparently the moon's kind of drifting away from us, so I guess we better brace ourselves for uh, unstable conditions. Oh, this is such a mess. We haven't even started and it's a mess. What are some moon myths? We've all heard of Lunacy or lunar sea. Basically, full moon brings out the crazies and werewolves and fun, fun people. The fun, fun people. <laughs> Scientifically, the moon has no control over our bodies. The moon has the power over the oceans, but we don't possess enough water in our bodies for the moon to have control. So, the only reason that activity goes up through full moon is because there is more light in the dark. You know when the moon looks like it's gotten closer? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> it's actually just an atmospheric play with the horizon and it's an optical illusion for our eyes. I hate to break it to you, Pink Floyd, but uh, there is no dark side of the moon. We may always see the same side of the moon, but it is rotating as well, but it just rotates with us. We. So let's do a little moon magic. If you have yourself a mason jar, some filtered water, a couple crystals, selenite stick, uh, an intention, uh, you can enhance spells, rituals, just beliefs. Generally works with law of attraction. I'm gonna link I'm going to link Conscious Evolution's How to Make a Potion. She kind of explains it a lot, but it's really cool. Uh, the one thing I will uh, kind of tell you from experience is make sure your crystals um, are okay for ingestion because you will be drinking this potion. Um, <laughs> so just, uh, yeah, just make sure like lots of like lots of the quartz crystals are generally fine. But uh, yeah, you'll make your tummy kind of sore if you uh, ingest something that you're not really supposed to read the fine print. <laughs> um, 
mistakes were made. It's fine. <laughs> but it's a really, it's a really fun way to, uh, to just kind of play with, play with Luna and have Luna play with you. So that's what I got for you this week. Short and sweet moon magic funness. And, uh, no idea what I'm going to do next week. I've got ideas for like later, but kind of, yeah. Anyways, I guess it's going to be a surprise for us all. <laughs> so with that all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, week, month, whenever I see you or you see me again. And until then, have fun with the moon. Bye guys. Waka waka. One more fun fact. So when this is posted, Wednesday the 20th, is actually going to be a full moon and it's called the hunter's moon and it is in aries which is actually my moon so that's kind of cool right oh it is still recording oh look at all the freaking clovers it's insane the amount of clovers clover clover clover, 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 clover. Oh, almost died it's fine hmm. <laughs> I have an idea. Oh God, this isn't going to work out well for me. Nope. You cannot see me. Sky. Also known as Luna, which comes from the Latin term Luna. Lunar? Lunar. I go from new moon to moon moon. Moon moon. Moon moon. Moon. Moon on the moon. Breaks the earth wobble on its axis. Oh my gosh. This is very difficult. Should maybe like this off until I figure out what it is that I'm doing.